Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel today. We've got another review on the Player of the Month, Yusuf El Nasiri. We're going to be going through the player's detailed stats, clip summary, and SBC requirements. Before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload. And comment down below who you'd like me to review next. This one came from a comment which will pop up above my head, so there's another one off the list. Add someone else to it, guys, in his place. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, this is the team that I used Yusuf and Nasiri in. I played him up top in this 4-2-3-1. And overall, first impressions of this card, guys, I actually think this card is terrific value. We'll get into the SBC requirement after that, but this card played phenomenally for me, considering he played, I think it was four games for me as well. I've rushed this review out a little bit as I did it with the Toribo review, which will be out. Please do check that out, guys. Um, but overall, I think this card played really well, and I was surprised with how well it played, considering how cheap he is. But let's get into the review six two high, high work rates, left footed, three star moves, and four star weak foot. So guys, it's okay with the work rates i would rather it was high medium of course or high low but this one actually didn't feel too bad his positioning felt okay and he does a lot of running as well which is nice to have four star weak foot of course is always a benefit of having these kind of cards too with especially with the striker that can strike it with both feet four games played 10 goals scored and two assists so a very good return as well that left foot is an absolute cannon of his um, i really did enjoy using that and i think that'll be one of the things that we'll see in the attribute details shortly i put the hot chemistry style on him just to give him an overall striker boost that help him out a little bit physically and pace wise and of course shooting as well bring him up to that next level in terms of shooting getting into his attribute details guys now the key ones here to look out for 97 finishing 87 shot power but when you put that chemistry style on him to boost that it feels like a tank on his left foot um really really nice to have it as well 83 strength 84 aggression 88 jumping 99 heading accuracy guys his headers are phenomenal um, and it's really fun to have that as well um the overall cons of this card guys his passing is really bad um i struggled a lot to play a lot play with this card i had to play really simple passes and use his running more to get uh, goals with him you would think the agility would be a con but actually guys his good ball control and dribbling and reactions mean that it's not so bad actually i didn't really notice it i thought his agility would have been higher than that on review of the card now but it's fairly low i actually didn't find it that much of a con the acceleration and the sprint speed is a little low but guys what you do have right now is a very big powerful striker so you have reasonable speed and then you combine that with that power means that you've got a real problem for most defenders um, that you're going to come up against. So I think the only one that caused me a bit of bother was Maldini. Um, but again, if that's the only defender really stopping this guy in his tracks, and that's a fairly high standard, not a lot of people will have that card. Um, finally, guys, we'll get into the player traits. He's got the speed dribbler trait, which is nice. Uh, I would like him to have some of the finishing traits, but overall, I think it's nice just to have something given how cheap this card is, which we're going to review now. Let's go to what the SPC requirements are so that you guys can see how to get your hands on him. So guys, getting into the Yusuf and Nasiri uh, requirements for the SBC. Now guys, it's only one SBC, so pretty cheap actually, as you guys can see, 36k for this 34k on the xbox and 39 on the pc one squad 83 rated with one sevilla player on 80 chemistry now guys i think that's a really reasonable price for this card um especially when we get more into this in the summary but of course i think uh, with the some of these more unknown sbc players especially with the recently released andre silva as well you're seeing that that you're getting these teams which are really or players sorry which are really well priced and reasonable value to give you a decent player that performs above the level of the price of the players around him we'll get more into that in summary but now that we've covered this we're gonna get into some of, the, some of the clips that i got with him so guys getting into some of yusuf and nasiri's clips and what you guys are going to see here for the most part is his terrific strength terrific capability in and around the box and his ability to take on defenders and do a job on them um, and create goal scoring opportunities now guys the one thing that i did love about this card as well as his ability to shoot was his ability to create chances um using his body now he is so big and strong guys that it is very tough for center backs to get him off the ball or even just bully him in general i think this card really did uh, allow you to play with a certain type of back to the back to the center back old style play uh of striker where you're able to just back into defenders hold them off good hold up play and create chances that way however guys i would say that there are significant drawbacks of this card one of them is his composure as you guys are seeing from some of these misses here um, a lot of them are quite easy chances and i feel like a lot of the time he was actually letting me down i don't feel like some of these finishes i was doing poorly there especially this one here i mean he should be sticking that away but that composure does let him down very much uh, a lot of the time but for the most part as well guys i would say that he does create fantastically he does play well and he did score a number of goals for me as you guys saw 10 goals in four games he does a very good job of getting himself on the score sheet there you guys can see again we're going to go into the strength element again look at the strength that he's able to put in there guys uh, able to hold people off and create easy chances for his teammates guys nothing i would say is that you guys are seeing from this clip 
these clips that his dribbling isn't too bad. I mean, he's relatively decent at moving around. Um, he does uh, not feel too stuck in the mud. He's able to move around and get chances in and around using his dribbling. Um, now you guys are going to see some of the finishes, of course, that we got with him. Um, some of them were really brilliant, especially that attack positioning. You saw there he sat off perfectly, timed his run beautifully in this clip as well, and just does well to just put himself in easy positions to score. And that's something I love about this card, was that for only 35, 36k, what you're getting is a card that can really play the striker position, and that's really nice to have as well. Um, you guys saw as well the heading accuracy that he has he's very capable of scoring those headed chances and that's something that's nice to have as well a striker that can just do all the aspects of striking the ball finishing off the chances that you create for him again good strength holding off Varane there and an the easy finish into that side of the net in these last couple of clips guys you guys are going to see a couple more goals that he got from me the first one a lovely side foot there and the last one a smash when he turns the defender here into the net so guys, getting into this final, Yusuf N Nesiri summary, 36k on the PlayStation, 34k on the Xbox, and 39 on the PC. Now guys, overall, I think this card is pretty decent, especially with that 97 finishing uh, and 91 positioning as well. He does move around the attack pretty well. He is let down slightly by his 81 composure. I do wish that was a little better, but his heading and jumping as well are phenomenal. I think guys, if you're going to boost this card at all, the cons of this card really are that acceleration there. The agility there doesn't really affect it, but I think if you boost it, you could have yourself a very, very quick and fast card there. And maybe his passing as well. His passing really is poor. So I think maybe, guys, in terms of recommended chemistry style, I would recommend the engine to you guys. That will do that to his stats. Bring his pace up, bring his passing up a little bit, and bring his speed up a little more. Of course, guys, you're more than welcome to try out any other combination of things which will allow you to update this card. And that would just be my recommendation to try and help his stat line the most. I don't think his shooting needs that much help, provided you're using him in the box. I think outside the box, he really does struggle as well. So if you were to boost his shooting, make sure you boost that element of it. But otherwise, guys, I think this card is a perfect player for in the box, powerful finishes, using that big body as well, and winning those heads as well so i really like how this card plays and for what it's supposed to do it does a phenomenal job in terms of similar players guys we'll get into it here um i don't think any of these are similar here i'm looking at romelu lukaku that kind of big body reasonable finish reasonable pace kind of striker and lukaku's passing of course a lot better than this use of in the series um but very similar in terms of the ability there um, and this series just as good a striker pretty decent dribbling compared to Lukaku as well but overall I think not a bad comparison there either next guys getting into the link ability now of course you do have some perfect links none of which apart from Idrisi you'll be able to link together with this in the series but if you go to strong links you've got a lot of link ability there um, you're able to move this card around of course with the recently released future star Oscar the man of the match or Campos um, of course, the shapeshifter or rule breaker or Campos, Diego Carlos, Jesus Navas, if you did that SBC, Acuna, if you did that SBC, Fernando as well. Lots of ways to link this card in. So, some nice link ability there as well, guys, for a cheap La Liga side that you can put together. Finally, guys, we're going to look at the final recommendation. And first of all, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the price comparison to other La Liga strikers. As you guys can see, he sits around the Luis Suarez mark, right below Benzema then, as it takes that hike to 52k. Do I think that this card is as good as Benzema? In some aspects, yes. I do feel like this card definitely does him on pace and shooting as well. I think this card is better than Benzema. However, I do think Benzema does beat him in the passing department quite significantly. And that maybe drags this Benzema back up a bit. But I do think that this card, for what you're getting in comparison to the other La Liga strikers, is terrific value. And um, I do think he's just uh, as capable as this Iago Aspas. He has a lot of physicality compared to this card. Um, so I think that price point there is really fair for him. In terms of comparing him to other strikers across the game now of course he sits on the top of the charts on this side here so we'll take a look at the screen before you see he's up against Inform Muriel who I think he is better than um, he's also up against Chiro Immobile, Rodrigo's one to watch, uh, Gilfie Sigurdsson striker. I think all of these cards he is better than, of course, Olivier Giroud striker as well. And he doesn't have the best link ability, guys. And that's maybe why the price is a little lower. But I do think that he is terrifically well valued. And therefore, that leads me to my final recommendation is that if you want a cheap card that can fit into a La Liga team that will deliver you decent results, don't expect too much from this card, guys. He is a decent striker. He's not a brilliant striker, but he will deliver you goals. He'll be able to win you headers. He's a good all around player to have up front with the, as the exception of the passing um, I do think he's more than capable of playing in that position in a cheap La Liga team and I do think he's worth it so therefore if you were to do this with SBC I would say it's a good one to do and it's definitely worth doing if you want to fit him into your team hope you guys did enjoy this review if you did please do smash that like button and until next time I will see you all in a bit